All right. Yeah. We're live. We're doing it live. Uh, all right. Did anybody have any questions about the, what I sent you? The notes? Oh, did anybody go to um, that weird, uh, the weird guy's uh, room with me, or was I there by myself? You did it by yourself. Because you're the only one that if somebody walked in and caught you, you would have been fine. You've been in his place before. Okay. You're actual Joe. So, okay. um, uh, I, uh, I, I leave. Uh, I, I leave the typewriter, but I take the violin and the bottle of gin and the and the piece of paper. Okay. I'm you looking up your note again. Okay. Right back. Yeah, I'm still having some internet issues, but getting a little bit better. Oh, your your voice is fine. All right, yeah, I'm finally getting video again. Okay. No, I've had a white screen for video for the last 10 minutes. Oh, really? <laughs> we saw you just fine. All right, I do not have any questions about mine. All right, uh, Mike, you have any questions about yours? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, so we're going to open up in the in the newly the newly built railroad station. That seems to be the quote unquote your safe space, where because uh, uh, inside, what would you explain that you're what you do now as a job? What I do now as a job. Yeah, I mean, as you, uh, what I our, probably I just kind of assumed you kind of run in the train station in a way. Yeah, um, I probably also have an office to still continue practicing law. Okay. Uh, more kind of like we talked about, probably less being in a court, but more of someone who understands it and who's kind of more of a master of contract law. Kind of like land claims and stuff like that? Yeah. He would help anybody that would want to buy anything and would try and squeeze as much money out of that as he could. Okay. Cool. Uh, so he'd have like an office. Okay. And I guess live there as well. The three of you, so... Have I met sex character yet? Uh, you've you. met him around. You guys just want to describe each other real quick? Sorry. My picture is on... Uh, on the uh, my avatar, I'm pretty much the what you see there, but uh, more albino-ish, and now missing a piece of this side of my head. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> and you are you're a stargazer. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm the only Chinese you, guy in town. Yeah. You would know that I also speak Mandarin, so we're tight like that. Okay, great. Here's Only probably question. because uh, I hired a lot of Chinese to build the railroad. Oh, that's right. <laughs> oh. Are you, is he the only Chinese guy in town? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I also have part of my skull uh, <laughs> and that I hide underneath that cap. And yeah. I'm just high. And you also have uh, a missing eye. <laughs> Did you say that? Yeah, missing eye and various scars. <laughs> Do you wear a patch, or you just you just hard ass and just let people look at your socket? I wear I wear, I wear a patch. Oh man, Dale's okay. character. You don't have to wear a patch around us. Dale, I'm Dale's already, character I'm is guy okay. in town. <laughs> Dale stay. Dale got a missing eye too, and Dale's just not wearing an eye patch. He's just gonna have it all grungy looking, like the kid from Walking Dead. Uh. So the three of you uh, gathered back together into the train station. Um, your other, the the other folks are still uh, out gathering information to figure out, kind of piece some things together. Uh, but you are all 
well under the impression, you know very well that actual Joe was telling the truth. There's been many times the one point sag, he caught your character because you're you're a meta, so you prefer your breed form is it's Krenos. Um yeah. you, one night you're just hanging out in Krenos form in the train station and he <laughs> saw you. And of course he ran and told everybody there's a wolf man that lives in the train station. No no one's believing him. Um is that dude like a can talk or something? No, he's just he can just remember things through the delirium. They said, "Well, it's it's one of those situations where, um, you know, it's the same thing with like changeling in a way that uh, uh, the people that are unaffected by this stuff are the the strong of will or the the insane, basically. Oh, okay. So, yeah." Are we meeting in uh, Bob's uh, office? Yeah. Okay. Um, so I pull out the uh, the violin, the bottle of whiskey, and uh, the piece of paper. Set down all three on on Bob's desk, and uh, I say, "This was in El Loco's room. He doesn't drink. He's illiterate, and he doesn't know how to play the violin." How does he play into uh I don't have anything about El Loco, Barney. No, he just called that's actual Joe. Actual Joe. Yeah. Oh. I'm a galliard. Okay. You gotta you gotta keep up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've checked in with uh I've checked in with the elders at Wilk Wilkins Farm. Uh they they were asking about uh, the ethnic, uh, well, the, the basically the, the ethnic descent of all of the women and found out that it was European. Um, and speaking, speaking with the, uh, uh, the sept leader back there, they, they, they think that this probably has nothing to do with the uh, anything in the Umbra, but they think it, it might have something to do with these women being taken to the Shadowlands. Hmm. Do we have any uh, Silent Striders here? They're Shadowlands checking. aren't Umbra? Huh? Aren't Shadowlands okay. Umbra? Uh, Shadowlands is opposed to the Umbra. Yeah, there's no thirges here, are there? No. Uh, of course not. No. <laughs> why? Why would we need a thirge? <laughs> <laughs> this to give you an. I'll I'll post this up late uh, on there, but this gives you an idea. Can you guys see that? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So the Shadowlands is technically in the penumbra. It's the bottom, basically. No, uh, what are we looking at? Penumbra. Okay, now I see it. Yeah. The main thing I heard about this is that uh, whatever's attacking the girls can go through mirrors, so we might want to be careful about that. Mirrors? Yeah. Probably have some kind of portal back and forth to the uh, Shadowlands. Hmm. I start, I grab uh, three glasses out of um, Bob's uh, bar, which I know he has nearby, and uh, set them up for us and start pouring the, the gin. I think we're going to need this. You know that um, you know, the, the railroad station is, I don't know, half a mile out of town. Um, when you guys were coming back, especially you, uh, Brian, uh, you, woo, you know that you saw men, you know, getting supplies ready to go out and start raising some some villages. Right, they're blaming it on the uh, the, the the natives. Yeah. But we can't find um, 
the crazy guy. Right? He's around town. I mean, he's not... He's, he hasn't disappeared or anything. No. Oh, I thought he has disappeared. No. Hmm. Okay. I th yeah, I thought actual Joe was gone. Okay. How did you? Uh, how did you find the the mirror thing, Bill? I talked to a few people I know. Sent out is some letters. And like, is this like how we enter the Umbra? You or can just like, a reflecting surface. That's how. Yeah. Or is it something bigger? Like using it as a gateway. I'm not sure. Could theoretically be either. Based on the descriptions we're hearing, I'm guessing it's more of a gateway. Hmm. Once again, that's more of a theory, but... I wonder if some of the others have some key information that we could put. <laughs> there might be a few key things that we're missing. So, um, Let me, yeah, I'm going to open up. I'm going to send you some of you who would probably have talked to. All right, since Tim's not going to be here. Um, you know, it's great. I left a note for Tim right before we came here, and someone just sent me a letter. <laughs> Uh, uh. Chris, what's your um, tribe and uh, auspice? Um, Iron Rider, Aaron. Yeah, man. Uh, all right. Um, I'm going to send you something because out of all, out of the three of you, uh, Brian, you know, you've been hanging out with Gabby more. So I'm going to send you a message from her. Uh, Gabby's the spider chick? Yeah. <laughs> Woo gets a text message. <laughs> <laughs> it's a spider with a little note strapped on its back. There you go. And who else is... Um, Felix, oh, you guys want to know that? Tezra. Um, and this is for you, uh, Phil. I'm going to send you a message. This was from... Uh, well, yeah, you talked to um, uh, Enoch. Mike, I'm sorry. I forgot your character. It's been a while. Uh, Pennsylvania Phil, Shadow Lord Ragabash. Oh, you're a Shadow Lord? Yeah. yeah. That's what we, exactly what we need right now. Red Bear Ragabash. Exactly what we don't need right now. <laughs> All right, did you see that, Mike? Mm -hmm. Oh, Mike, you didn't even look at it. Yeah, I did. The thing I just sent you on the... Ta it says yes. you didn't see it. From Dale? Yeah, I have the uh, chat window open already, so I guess it's not reading that I read it. Oh, okay, okay. Now it says you've seen it. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh, I had to scroll up and down more in the chat. <laughs> now it's fine. <laughs> so, so firstborn, firstborn women. What did uh, I'm not up on my on the Bible? What did uh, God do with the firstborn males? Maybe that's a clue. I don't know. 
Uh, are you talking about like in Genesis and such? Yeah. I don't know if it was in Genesis or not, but I think it was in the Bible. Yeah, I think they killed all the firstborn males. But that was for punishment, wasn't it? Yeah, either that or frogs. That was King Herod who did that because there was a prophecy that uh, a child was going to take over, and that child was Moses. Said the, said the random guy sitting in the train station. <laughs> <laughs> That's our local hobo. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking no, of speaking of hobo turned hobo. Speaking of hobos, Enoch uh, was talking to Nana Bosher about it. Um, uh, Bob, you've never met Nana Bosher, have you? I don't think so. No, Crazy. he's come. He's come to. Uh, uh, I've heard. And his and the thing that I wrote for Sag's character, you you have he has come to some of the moots at Harrogate, as oh. you a few times. Okay, yeah. So the crazy old lady is blaming the worm comers for it, because okay. you know there there's a stagecoach. Okay. Um, and uh, I recently got word from Gabrielle Eight Legs that uh, one. A uh, umbra storm passed through recently. A shadow broke off from the storm and hovered over the town. So this is back at Harrogate, or is this in Gold Springs? Gold Springs. Gold Springs. Okay. Yeah, based off of where Gabby, well, the Anasazi, she lives in a she lives in an abandoned mine to the north of both towns, uh, and it's further up. So she can have she has a bird's eye view of of gold springs and then umbral storm passed through a few uh a f about a uh a week or so before the girls disappeared and she noticed that the uh, a piece of that stayed that when the umbral storm passed through um it's like a huge sandstorm of you know of, of rain and water and just ghostly apparitions rip apart everything and a part of that, she she claims that a part of that broke off and kind of stuck around. Did it was it centralized anywhere in Gold Springs? Just around. If you guys check your, if you guys check your, uh, if you check your um, timeline, you notice before, uh, right there, it, uh, the last three things that was posted in the timeline. An umbral storm passes through the southern part of Gold Spring. The town was unaffected. Harrogate was unaffected, too. Then rumors of a dark man walking around at night fill the ears of the townsfolk. And then entire town of Gold Springs fall asleep for two days. That's the other piece is that you guys are supernatural and you guys were all asleep. This also affected you. Okay. So something powerful enough to, and the one point is uh, Ezra. Um, Ezra tells you, and Ezra, he's the um, the the child of Gaia, Aaron, Mike Thompson's character. Um, he was down in Sunny Hill at the time. That's the town south of there, which is a child of Gaia commune. He he was out. He was out at the time, and he um, heard uh, through his content. He heard that it was only humans were affected by it which makes him kind of upset because he he's lupus so wait so you're saying he was knocked out too he wouldn't have been affected by it if he was in town oh, okay so sag your character itself you weren't passed out for two whole days but you you were you were you were just tired a lot that those last two days, but you were so busy at the train station, you just didn't really go into town at all because I forgot you're a medis, so you were yep. partially affected by it. Okay. So yeah, you noticed say, that it was kind of foggy and dusky in the past couple of days, but you've only been here for a year or so, so you can't notice if anything's out of the ordinary because you're you don't know what out of the ordinary looks like yet. Hmm. 
if we're going to do anything, uh, look, I think we're going to have to do it soon. We saw some angry people looking ready to go kill some Indians over this on our way out to the train station. So I know about getting to, I should know, Bonnie, my character would yeah. know about getting to the penumbra, right? Like when we well, first cross over. You can all step sideways. Yeah, so that when we step sideways, it's into the penumbra and we have to go further to get into the umbra proper, right? Yeah, basically it's, um, and in order to get to the umbra proper, you have to go through, you'd have to usually take a moon bridge. Right. So you guys have no way of going into the Shadowlands. That's what I'm trying to get to. Do we have a way of getting into the Shadowlands? Not as not as Garu. There are some specific rights and there's a, there are some specific rights and gifts that Silent Striders have to do that. And you said there was no Silent Striders in town? No, the only the closest you guys have to a Silent Strider is the Silent Strider um kinfolk okay huh. well if the because there was a a stagecoach And it was physically here. Was there what you said? There was a rainstorm as well, and with the umbral storm. Yeah, I'm just wondering if there's any way we could uh, maybe see where that went if that was actually physically here. The fog. What? You mean the fog? The frog. The fog. The black fog. No, no, no. I'm just, I'm just wondering if the if the stagecoach was here, could we follow the ruts? Oh, I see what you're saying. That's why I was asking about the rainstorm because well, it probably wouldn't be that those intent that intense of a of a rut. I mean, not that there's probably not a million other uh, things in town. I think the only one of the only routes we have is probably to track down um, the crazy guy. Yeah. Or just step in, step into the umbra and start asking spirits. All the firstborns went missing while everyone's asleep, right? Mm -hmm. The only other thing I could think of right now, other than tracking down the crazy guy, maybe setting a trap. Maybe getting a little bait, and then we take a fifty-fifty shot. That'll take another firstborn anyway, but. You know, something. You just happen to have a firstborn girl lying around? <laughs> Give me a little time. <laughs> Give me about nine months. <laughs> now, how far is Harrogate? That's like a three-hour three hour horse ride. Give me a day if we need one. You don't know if anybody there is a firstborn daughter, firstborn well, female. Yeah, but we could bluff a little bit. <laughs> Someone there has. Where's the uh, the biggest mirror in town? Uh, you have them in the saloon, and you have them in the bank as well. Well, let's uh, let's go try to find um, um, El Loco actual. Crazy dude. Actual was it actual Joe? I don't actual, actually, actual Joe. Actual Joe. A loco actual Joe. And so the word back Joe. then the, the, the word actual um, was a was a was a term for money. Huh. Money Joe. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. All right, so the uh, is that so? What's your plan? You guys are gonna go look for actual Joe? I think we look look for him. We also check on those mirrors. Um, that's what we do now. All right. So the 
uh, the three of you head back into town. Um, as you get into town, uh, you see a lot of uh, uh, a lot of uh, hollering uh, inside in, inside the bank as you guys get in. The town itself is about three hundred people or so, so it's actually gotten a lot bigger since uh, you all moved there and put things, especially now with the railroad putting in a year ago. That's actually helped out a lot with the um, with the population growth. Well, let's go into the banks as we're here. Uh, you hear a lot of screaming coming from the bank. Well, that's a problem. <laughs> that's a place to start. Uh, you walk into the bank and you see, um, you walk into the bank and you see actual Joe with a rifle shaking as rifle pointing it at the bank tellers. Is it that black and white picture? By the, yeah, by the that's him. Yeah, that's that's actual Joe. You hear him shaking his shaking his rifle, and he says, "God damn it, God damn it! They're all over the place, and no one's saying a goddamn thing. They're all over the place. They're right behind there. They're right behind the. They're right behind them." He's pointing at the mirror, or pointing at the. Uh... He's pointing at the mirror through, pointing at the tellers, but there's mirror. You see, there's mirrors behind the tellers. Uh, Barney, can I do sense worm? Uh, yeah, go for it. Uh, perception plus occult, right? Yeah, hang on. I'll be right back. You guys talk amongst yourselves. Not a great roll. Three dice. So how you been? Not too bad. You got video showing in more places, Sag? Um, I just got accepted to St. Louis International Film Festival yesterday. Nice. Uh, yeah, I'm hitting a good streak. Knoxville um, was another recent one. And also this past weekend at Central Library downtown, I did some, uh, I did a, an art loop sort of animation thing. So right on. Been, been keeping artistically busy, which is good. I should have a comic. Uh, all the art's done for an eight page comic. Uh, I just need the, the, uh, the text and hopefully that'll be ready in a couple of weeks to go to uh, another convention we have in town, which is at the library. Our, li our library's uh, downtown has actually gotten much cooler in the past like five years. They right somehow on. got a ton, ton of money uh, to uh, outfit it in terms of production equipment and uh, uh, a lot of programs for the arts, which is cool. You guys probably saw, I posted it on Facebook a couple times, but I got my first ever publication recently. Oh, sure. yeah. The, uh, anthology. That was Congratulations, a sir. Thank you. That was a guy you knew? Uh, yeah, it was a guy from uh, a Facebook writers group that I'm part of. Oh, okay. What did I miss? Oh, uh, my, uh, my, first my first publication. Oh, cool. Congrats, man. All right, so you are you rolling sense worm? Uh, yeah, sense worm. Perception of cult. At a yeah, I think you need to tell me the difficulty, though. Uh, difficulty of uh, six. You sense... Uh, I wouldn't say a worm. You sense a darkness. You sense a type of darkness that you've never really. Yeah, 
sense it, it's not like i said it's not like a worm sense it's like uh a shadowy sense you f you feel uh, you can't really describe it as worm as like the classic garu worm but you you would you would classify it as a um, darkness like a foreboding sense i guess okay yeah and you out of the, everybody here you're the one that knows actual joe the best you're right <laughs> <laughs> and then Pennsylvania Phil is going to talk to people, so yeah, I, uh, I can, there, can intimidate the hell out of anyone. So, <laughs> is there a decent amount of people in the room? It's pretty. It's a. It's a. It's around noon, and people are kind of coming in and out because it's also people are. Uh, I've kind of gathered around outside uh, because people were busy packing up horses to go out to uh, to some Sioux resident to Sioux to to um, Sioux. Um, villages, so it's well, I, pretty crowded. Mm -hmm. I uh, it like both Phil and Wu probably knows me a little bit. Um, I kind of look at both of them out of the corner of the eyes, and I move backwards, kind of like away from the mm -hmm. the. Uh, mo I understand that they're the talkers, and I also understand there's a lot of people here, so uh, <laughs> I just sort of move towards the door. <laughs> uh, because of bad things. Yeah. Yeah. Because you don't want to <laughs> lose any glory. <laughs> uh, so, Barney, I'm going to walk. Uh, and Mike, I'm sorry. I didn't mean if you have anything, but I was going to walk to try to calm down uh, actual Joe using persuasion. Yeah. I mean, we'll just be joking around there. <laughs> like, hey, looks like Joe had a little bad liquor. Everyone calm down. Guns probably not even loaded. <laughs> Everything's okay. Roll your charisma. You're trying are you trying to are you gonna use a gift or anything or are you just gonna just try to do some straight rolling? Um I would probably Uh, I think per using persuasion would take a little bit of time, and right now I'm just trying to get everyone calmed down right away. So I would just do straight rolling. Uh, use your low so persuasion used to lower your social difficulties, charisma subterfuge lower. So this might help you for the entire scene, man. Okay. Yeah. I mean, if I have enough time, I'd probably do that. Yeah. You said there's a crowd outside. Yeah, people are now looking through the windows because it's it's a it's a village of three hundred people. Anything happens, everybody's uh, going to be watching. I'll walk out. I'll disperse them. I'll just walk okay. out on the uh, the out the door and throw some anticipation. And tell everybody to piss off. All right, go ahead and roll your manipulation uh, intimidation. Now, Barney, uh, yeah. I have a minus two on my manipulation. Would it help me in this case? Uh, for when dealing with your head scar, because I'm trying to scare people. Uh, and minus is the what it was. Are you talking about your head scar? Yeah, the head scar gives me a minus two manipulation when dealing with humans. Um, oh, I see what you're doing. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Um, roll an extra die from it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, lower your now. Yeah, yeah, lower your difficulty to. Uh, Lower your difficulty to a five. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And people know you as kind of like the the ornery, like you're. The, <laughs> well, I mean, because people want to still come in. Like you, you still want business from people. Yeah. As a lawyer, I'm just telling them to go home. Yeah. And, and I'm probably known at the bank. Yeah. Yeah, you're you're rich, man. You are the bank. <laughs> you are the bank. Yeah, you're Vic Vinegar to my Hugh Honey. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> wow, two successes with two ones. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, it's enough to get some people to shuffle off a bit. The women and the kids go away, but the other the guys are the, – the men – don't really look into the bank as much, but it will go back to packing up their horses. But they're still keeping a couple, a couple, you know, a half an eye on what's happening there because it's, 
exciting stuff that's happening. Uh, I, yeah, go ahead. I was gonna roll uh, persuasion as well. Okay. Does that persuasion uh, uh, persuasion your gift persuasion, right? Gift persuasion, yeah. Okay. Uh, two successes. Two successes as well. All right. Yeah. So basically, so you guys have uh, to lower social by one. All right. Charisma plus subject did whether it was sex to lower social difficulties, but she all just needed one success anyway to enact it. So oh, here comes Ted. Face. <laughs> <laughs> all right, nope. Aaron. Did you read Aaron? Did you read your your stuff? Yeah, of course I did. Okay. <laughs> you liar. Yeah, I'm, I'm all over it. <laughs> all right. Uh, you hear a ruckus in the bank, Aaron. As soon as you get there, get online. You gotta want to go to the bank. A ruckus? Some kind, of, some kind of ruckus. Actual Joe's causing a ruckus at the bank. Where's the motherfucking ruckus? Who hangs at the bank? Uh, is is it a sunny day, Barney? It is a sunny, hot, sunny day. All right. yeah. I would have an umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you like six foot something? You gotta carry an umbrella. What? Yeah, but I'm an albino. Oh, that's right. You're, you're an ugly motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> For my comfort. Yeah. And it's probably a nice umbrella, too. Yeah. I'm a big fan of your umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, go ahead, Seth. Um, yeah, you guys both got your persuasion rolls in. Uh, go ahead and role play it out. You can go first, Mike, if you want. I mean, we're all kind of joking with everyone, you know. Looks like, uh, was it Joe again? Uh, actual Joe. Yeah, I'm like, everyone, you know, Joe, like, you know, Joe. <laughs> 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 I mean, it's obvious he has some bad drink. I he tried shooting that shotgun at me earlier, not even loaded. <laughs> and I don't look at him like Tammy, you you haven't seen anything behind the mirror, have you? <laughs> <laughs> all right, Ted, are you done uh you're at your butcher shop? You're coming up to hear all the noise? Yes, yes, that seems yeah. like it'd be a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, just uh, real quick, uh, actual Joe is holding uh, the bank hostage because he's claiming that there's nobody sees him and everybody's uh, he's the only one that sees him and he's shaking his rifle at the through the tellers to the window to the mirrors behind them. And I'm and I'm walking up to Joe trying to uh, trying to calm him down since I know him. All right. I'm like, like I see him too, Joe. I, you're you're one hundred percent right, buddy. One hundred percent right. We're gonna deal with this together, my friend. Roll gonna... charisma subterfuge. Yep. Meanwhile, I'm telling everyone Joe's crazy to calm him down. <laughs> 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 Going well. Charisma. All right. Uh, and four. Mike, right. you roll your charisma, whatever you want to roll with that, either expression or leadership or. And we'll go expression. All right. Because we're just trying to tell a story, keep people amused. Yeah, okay. Go for it. What's my difficulty, Barney? Uh, well, because it's going to be lowered by a one, it'll be difficulty of a five. All right. Uh, same for me, sir, or? Uh, same for you. Yeah. All right. Three successes, two successes. All right, Phil, go ahead. You say you that well, you said that people are kind of kind of nervous, starting to nervous, like laugh nervously, like hey, yeah, he's yeah. a yeah, and just try to slowly walk in a direction where if Joe decides to start shooting, it will probably hit me first. Uh, and uh, uh, Brian, you're you do your talk. Joe shaking his rifle and he goes, "You see him? You see him? I see him too, man. I see him too. That's why I'm here." They're scratching at my brain. They're scratching at me. They're coming at me. I broke my mirror. I need to break every mirror here. Someone's got to save the girls. No one believes me. No one believes me. 
No one believes that that guy out there with the umbrella is a wolf man. No one believes anything <laughs> I say. <laughs> Do I overhear that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you actually caught you. Like, you were actually like, and Green was reading a book, and like, he walked inside. <laughs> Hey, Robert, I have a question for you in the uh, D20 chat. Who are you talking to? <laughs> Robert, if Wu was in a clan, which one would he be? Who's Robert? Uh, Bob oh, Chan. Oh, Bob. <laughs> we'll later call him Roberto if we ever go down to Mexico. <laughs> All right. So what? Uh, um, what are you? What are you? What are you doing, Brian? He's. Are you gonna try to take the rifle away from him? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and roll your charisma subterfuge. Again. Uh, are you all that? You got two successes. Yeah. Um, he. Uh, he said he he uh, he collapses uh, he collapses on the ground. On the floor, he give and his rifles in your hand. Okay, I just kind of uh, put him kind of comfortingly on the head. We're gonna help you out, buddy. We're gonna help you out. We're gonna take care of this, you and me, buddy. All right, uh, uh, Ted. You see all this happen. Uh, they kind of lead actual Joe out of the bank. Um, Does it? Uh look like actual Joe from a uh, Farage's perspective is actually hindered by a spirit or like is actually being affected by something. Uh, roll that gift you have. Okay, guys, now you got a third in the game. <laughs> <laughs> it's to earn your keep. I use magic missile. Uh, <laughs> We've got everything but a uh, Philodox now. Yeah. Uh, what was it? Umbral sight. Yeah. Perception alertness. Um. Where are you now? Right there. Two successes. Um, you see, you see faint glimmers, kind of like shadows, dancing on the mirrors in the back, but you don't see anything with on top of actual Joe. Um, yeah, so. Um, yeah, the rest of the bank, the scene itself. You can't really, uh, no. You mean no? <laughs> well, yeah. that that's about it. That so basically, um, if you want to share with these three your information, I sent you. You guys can. You guys kind of walk. You guys kind of uh, walking away from the crowd. And go ahead, Ted, tell them what you discovered. About the um, ghost, the, the horse ghost? Yeah. So and, Ted did something different where he went and, and ter he investigated the issue about how actual Joe talked about the horses made of spikes and fire. So I interrogated the uh, animals that I was slaughtering. <laughs> <laughs> all, all livestock, what they knew about it, and uh, finally, uh, uh, was led to a, a spirit of a of a horse that was drowned in a, a creek outside of town. I went there, and that horse said uh, the the horses with the iron, the spikes and fire were like banshees to the the horses, and wherever they uh, showed up, that death was death was following. So as a get a, get a, as a get a Fenris butcher thurge, he would 
<laughs> exercised the animals he was killing and interrogated their spirits. <laughs> That's not dark. <laughs> <laughs> they were dying anyways. He was chopping them up anyway. <laughs> All right. Um, anything new you guys wanted? To, uh, so those are the pieces of information that you have. Well, the pond's a reflective surface that would be big enough for a uh, stagecoach to go through. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Joe seemed very particularly interested in that, that the bank mirror. I think we shouldn't turn a blind eye to that either. There was, <clears throat> what did I say, the sh shimmeriness of something in the umbra? Yeah, so uh, just because you're a th as a third, I can tell you, um, uh, I'll just read something quickly for you guys. Not all werewolves can see wraiths. Only silent striders can generally catch a glimpse of them as if they flip through the Shadowlands. Once Aguirre knows what he's looking for, however, he can generally spot wraiths quite easily. It's knowing what to look for for the first time that presents difficulty. On the other hand, wraiths have the innate ability to detect the orders of living beings, which enables them to pick werewolves out of the crowd easily. Many people make the mistake of assuming that restless or spirits just like any other umbral denizens. They aren't. Most gifts that affect spirits don't either don't affect wraiths or affect them in odd or weak ways. So. Let's get actual Joe back up to his room where he can uh, sleep it off. Not shoot people? And not shoot people. What did the violin have to do with this? I have no idea. <laughs> uh, so Does uh, Joe yeah. play the violin? I've never seen him play the violin. And he doesn't write either. But he had that typewriter. I pull out the piece of paper again. Does anybody know what this actually says? My reading of English isn't the best. Uh, I'll, I'll look at it. It's in German. Um, hold on. Let me look at my... I think I'm just French and... Mandarin. Yeah, Mandarin. French and Mandarin. Yeah. But I mean... Actually, I have no idea how close French is to German. <laughs> Probably not. not. I'm sure and we could find someone who could read German. I'm supposed to be German origin. I'm looking to see if I have anything in languages. You have a one dot in language. Ah, linguistics. It's obviously it's German. I can read that. <laughs> <laughs> are you gonna pick? Are you gonna pick German as your? Yeah, language? yeah. It's, it's, it makes, it's, that's the. It's, that's that's the. That's that's the backstory. Yeah. That's the backstory. All right, Can't write remember. German down as your language. <laughs> no more of these little sneaky things. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, Aaron, you notice that it's, um, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, writing from, uh, a, a part of the book of revelations that talks about the dead coming back. I relay that to the group. Lovely. I'm Chinese, so that's nothing to me. <laughs> 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 so is is uh, Joe out cold? Um, he's shaking. He kind of he's stumbling back up to his room right now. Yeah, I'll Everybody make sure I get his room and I'll get him in bed and okay. Try to try to try to talk him to sleep or talk him down. All right, if you can find out more stuff. Yeah, ask him. Uh, talk to him. Ask him. Um, uh, who's trying to get in his head? Uh, go ahead. Are you gonna roll your? You're trying to interrogate him. You're gonna do it the rough way. You're gonna try to be nice. No, I don't want to do it the rough way. <laughs> <laughs> if we needed the answers, I could do it the rough way. <laughs> All right. What's your? Uh, 
Are you going to try to charisma? You might want to ask Phil to do the talking for you. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. As, as, as we're going up the stairs, I, I, I pull <laughs> Phil aside and yeah, I'd like to know more about. <laughs> See if we can get him to talk about what's what's bothering him. If he knows what's harassing him. I don't know, man. I think he got this. I got this. <laughs> Maybe there's a bane that bane attached to him. Uh. Or there's something yeah, the that smells like like blood and, and dead meat should be the one talking to him to calm him down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, we'll we'll have a little talk with him. All right, it's still the same scene, so you still get that minus uh, on your difficulty. So go ahead and you've since you've established a, a rapport with him, uh, uh, Pennsylvania Phil, go ahead and roll your charisma. Uh, you're trying to get information out of them, so would it be a subterfuge? Would you have subterfuge on that? I would probably or say that? subterfuge, so I'm not really trying to do a friendship. It's just trying to lead him into telling me what's going on. Okay, go ahead. Yep, mid-maxing out your charisma subterfuge rule. Hey. <laughs> I could use animal kin if you want me to. <laughs> Seriously? Oh, four successes. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um, you guys are he, you guys are walking him up the stairwell. You're walking him up the stairwell. You can have your arm around him a bit. And then the other three are kind of um, pacing, you know, walking, you know, a, a few steps behind on the stairwell. Um, and how are you what, – what are you talking to him? What do you, what do you say to him, Mike? That's like, hey, J Joe, you know, I know it's been really bad lately. We're really stressed. Well, can you tell me a little bit about what's going on? You know, are you all right? I mean, do you see something that just weirded you out? There's faces in the mirrors. There's faces in the mirrors. And I can't – and they, they stare at me and they laugh at me. And, and, and they're all in black. And they – they woke me up. I think they woke me up on purpose when I saw that that giant man taking away all the women. They took them all away, and it wasn't the engines that did it. No, it was this giant man in dark, giant dark man in a fiery. It was in the, in the stagecoach and those the, the horses. They had these these eyes that are reading me, and there was nothing I could have done. I went from house to house trying to wake up everybody, and nobody was waking up. Nobody was waking up. I was the only one that was awake. And I saw it all, and now the the faces. All now, ever since that happened, all the windows are they have eyes in the windows, and they have they have eyes in the mirrors, and they're and I can't I I can't help but they keep staring at me. They keep staring at me. I need to get out of town. I need to get out of here. I got nowhere else to go. I got no place to go. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm not disagreeing with getting out of town. I mean, did you you said you saw the giant man and the women? Where did they go? They went out of town. They headed they headed west. They headed west towards the river. kind of do a look over my shoulder to everyone. It's like, yeah, any, anything else we really need, or can we let the crazy guy go? I, I'm happy with the faces in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually friends with this guy, so I'm going to make sure that he gets back to his room safe and try to calm him down. Okay. Yeah. And hopefully get him to kind of sleep it off. You know, as soon as he's in bed, it's almost like his safety. It's like if, you, if he's laying in his bed, he seems to calm down a lot. I tell him, uh, before I leave, I said, don't you worry about nothing, Joe. We'll take care of this for you. We're buddies, right? We got you. You're a good man. He kind of rub, rubs your face as you kind of tuck him into bed, even though he's like in his 50s. He, you know, it's, you tuck him into bed and, you know, in his uh, old ratty mattress in his, one, his, his, in his rented room upstairs. Okay. Don't you worry about nothing, Joe. You just get some rest. And uh, I head back downstairs. Okay. You notice something interesting is that he does not seem to notice the typewriter or the violin 
or any of those. Well, I've got the violin now. I got the violin. <laughs> violin K. He, do, he doesn't even notice it. Oh, actually, I wanted to ask him, Joe. Do you know where this file, uh, where where this typewriter came from? I remember this year before. And they say I'm the one that's crazy. I don't see a damn thing. Never mind, then. I must uh, had a little too much gin. Well, I don't know where you got that. It's not a drop of liquor in this entire room. It's in my pocket. Don't you worry. And then uh, I'll head out. He curls up at his bed. Oh, where's my rifle? Oh, we're going to need that. We're going to need that. We're going to take care of those faces for you. All right, as long as you bring it back. I'm a man of my word, Joe. You just get some rest. All right. All right, you leave the room? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right. What do you guys do? Head west? You know, that would seem like the best move right now. Unless we want to start breaking a whole lot of mirrors. <laughs> Who here is uh, good with guns? <laughs> Why don't you ask Bob about that one? Hey -o. <laughs> <laughs> uh, side note, uh, uh, Mike Starkweather shot Zach in the back <laughs> last episode. That was my prelude. <laughs> That's what you told me about that. <laughs> right in the face. I'm okay with firearms, but it's better cutting people. I mean, I could use a gun if you want me to. You, I mean, you, are you looking for somebody to use Bob's rifle? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I've got a, I've got a six shooter, so not not necessary. Uh, air. What do you got, Pennsylvania? Oh, yeah, Pennsylvania, Phil, you suck at firearms. No, you got a one. That's not. No, I, I suck at firearms. That's a fair statement. Yeah, I got zero in firearms. Well, if nobody wants it, I'm just going to prop the, the rifle. I mean, like, well, I mean I'll, 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 I'll definitely yeah. bust a cap a, if you want me to. I've, I've got a two in firearms, but I do more damage with the Ed Krenos with a fetish. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll take the gun. All Don't right, you finish weapon, Aaron? What's that? Don't you? You have like a, uh, yeah, a cleaver. Oh, that's right. You got a butcher, butcher, <laughs> butcher cleaver. Knife. Yeah, a cleaver. Yeah. Um, I run over to my place real quick and I grab my staff. Okay. All right, and you guys uh, get on horses and or just walk out of town. Uh, I, I've got uh, horses are freaked out around me. Oh, that's true. <laughs> I've got a mark of the predator, so I always go in lupus or, or whatever. All right, you guys walk out of town. You guys can have horses if you want. I'm just saying I will keep a distance. <laughs> Let's just walk. Uh, yeah, I guess we can walk. How far was the river? Yeah. Uh, wow, you just came from there. I mean, I don't know, uh, a few hours ago. Well, okay. talk to that. You talk to that can't be more than a few yeah. hours away then. Yeah, no. Uh, you guys head. You guys head towards the river. Uh, you see some women walking through with some laundry as you guys are heading out. Um, one of them. Uh, one of them winks at Pennsylvania Phil. Wink back. <laughs> <laughs> You guys see that? He have a hole in his head. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are. <laughs> Aaron, don't forget we gotta roll your. Uh, we gotta roll you for battle scars later too. <coughs> uh, battle scars. Uh, all right, all right. You guys get to uh, the river's edge. Uh, what do you do? Uh, I would like to step sideways. You guys all step sideways? I'm going to uh, roll Sense Worm again to see if I sense that same darkness. Okay. Uh, you don't even have to worry about it. You do not. 
I'll okay. look for a random shit out here before I step sideways. You know, just like maybe one of the girls drops something or anything like that. All right. And make sure uh, actual Joe's in our own is like, they're disappearing again. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure there's it. just not a whole bunch of like empty booze bottles right there. I'll do that as well. All right. So you guys are just looking around for uh go ahead and roll your perception investigation. Nice. I'll, I'll look around. What, is that a difficulty of a six, Barney? Difficulty of a six. <laughs> All right. You're on fire, man. I am. Um, do I rage? <laughs> <laughs> I can't find <laughs> anything. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, Aaron. Four successes, huh? Man, I was really, I was really looking. He's an investigative <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> um, you see uh out of what would be because I'm 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 giving your four successes part of the fact that maybe you you're been using your umbral site. Uh you see what looks like for you some uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, like ashen hoof prints uh, inside the river. There seem to be uh, residual ashen hoof prints that seem to be unaffected by the 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 flowing stream of water in the middle of the river. Sag, you see, you guarantee that you you see. Uh, a, a dead body of a woman in the river. Okay. Um, and f um, Phil and Wu with two successes. Um, you 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 get a, just a, a sense of. Uh, that you're you're heading in the right direction. You don't get a sense that you're uh, you're pretty confident that uh, even despite the uh, the heavy trafficked area in a way here, uh, because this is the, this is people come here to the river to you know fill up you know buckets of water. This is the closest place where people can get you know running water. So. Uh, it's it's a well it's a well worn path, uh, but you with your two successes you um, definitely get the impression that this is the direction they went, and it stops at the river basically as you kind of get a sense of that uh, because now you know for sure that all the information you've all gathered together that you're dealing with something from spectral, some sort of spectral uh, malice than anything to do with um, the the penumbra. Could I go knees deep in the river? Does it like drop off quick or can you see? No, it's pretty, it's fairly, sh the deepest it's going to get because this is people there. It doesn't get too deep because people carry wagons through the, this part of the, the shallow part of this river. So, I jump, I jump about knees deep, and start pointing. I go, "There's a dead girl." <laughs> uh, you know for sure there's a dead girl there. <laughs> no, there, there. I mean, there's no doubt about it. Um, is you it see him point, You see, you see him. Po you see Sag. You see uh, um, Bowery Bob pointing at a a group of. It looks like a. Um, you you kind of make it out now, and you see that there is a uh, there is a sack of it looks like it's a um, an old grain sack that's now chopped up with a 
um, that's brushed up against a, a rock, and now there's some uh, twigs and law, twigs and a you know small sticks that have gotten caught up against it as well. I, I grab the girl, Barney. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, uh, roll your because it's further down the stream a bit. Go ahead and roll your. Uh, uh, Stamina athletics to make sure you not get washed away from the water. Difficulty of a six. All right, um, you're stumbling a bit, but you see, you see, um, you see uh, Bowery Bob heading out towards the water, wading in waist deep uh, to get a uh, a burlap sack. Um, out of all this, Phil, you're the one that knows him the best. I mean, you all know each say. other. <laughs> like, like, Phil, you're just gonna let him go do that? I'm saying like stupid white man and man. Fucking white man. All right, Sag, go ahead and roll your perception alertness again. Difficulty of a six. As you get closer. We have faith in Bob. He can take care of himself. <laughs> he's a level two Garu. He can handle a stream. I do say uh, in Mandarin back. You do know I understand Mandarin. <laughs> <laughs> As I'm walking out there, you know, perception alertness, Barney. Yeah, perception alertness. <laughs> Which is much better than uh, investigation. <laughs> And and just so you guys know, I really. What's that? Difficulty of what? Six. Just a six. All right. You definitely make out that it's a sack, a, a burlap sack. <laughs> Roll your rage. <laughs> uh -uh. I, I, guys, in this break, I read all about rage. And if you're an Arun and you embarrass yourself, you have a frenzy check. <laughs> What's uh, difficulty, Barney? Difficulty was six. You have, yeah, to get have four, you have to get four successes in order to frenzy. <laughs> you <laughs> so can it's do a five it, Chris. For me. Difficulty was five for you because you You can do it, goals. man. I got faith in you. <laughs> you do not frenzy, but you're really pissed off at yourself. <laughs> 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 then uh, I think it's good to. Like motionless and silence, just standing there, just for maybe a good, maybe a good five seconds before I turn back around. Um, and then I just look over my shoulder at everybody. What's what's all your reactions? I thought that was very brave. <laughs> Do you, are you carrying the burlap sack with you, or you just left it? Um, well, I mean, as soon as I figured it out, what it was, are there, are there dead kittens in it? <laughs> no, there's no dead kittens. Um, um, okay, roll, 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 roll a ten-sided die. If Odds yes, evens no. No, no dead kittens. <laughs> all right, we're all safe. <laughs> I just, then I just drop in the river. <laughs> All right. Are Aaron, there other you... people around, or is it just the four of us? Uh, there's um, further down the river. You see some some women that are washing some clothes on the rocks, but they're far enough away where you can't actually make out exactly who they are. Uh, but you're also near the and that and your voice is. It's not like a calm stream, so your your voices are kind of being drowned out a bit anyway with the uh, with the water. So, uh, so what does everybody else got? <laughs> As I'm coming well, back into the water, <laughs> <laughs> um, should we step sideways and see if there's something something more interesting on the other side? The only other thing I can think of 
Do you share your information, uh, Ted? Yeah, yeah. It's, I don't think we need to. I see, you know, I peeked into the Umbra and I can see uh, really what I saw, the hoof prints in the river. They, they, they look like they, they died off in the river, Josh. Is that what they, they did? They look like or? they completely dropped off like a trap door that went below, basically. No. But there's no actual trap door in the Like water. that was, yeah. So the yeah. river might be a portal towards somewhere else. Um, I don't sense anything here the way I sensed it back in the bank. If anything, I think maybe if you could get access to uh, access to a mirror or a big mirror back in town and a little privacy, that might be better than uh, than uh, swimming for sacks. Uh, the only other thing I can think of is if one of us goes lupus and uh, follow the scent of the women. But I must, uh, my guess would be that it died here. I would imagine, yeah. Mirror? Yeah, I don't know. Um, the spectral aspect of it. I don't know how to how to approach that. You know, I mean, if it was something more spirit based, more umbral based. Do we have what resources do we have? Do we have anything else? Anything? Any other sources of information? Can I roll something? <laughs> if you guys want to share with him what Gabrielle told you. Uh, woo. Oh yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I shared again that there was a umbral storm recently, and the Anasazi saw that a uh, a black fog broke off from the storm and hovered over uh, over Gold Springs right around the same time that the it was right around the same time the girls disappeared. Is that right, Barney? Or right before the girls disappeared? A few days before that. Plus, um, there was a, a a dark man spotted in town a couple of days before the girls disappeared. Everything keeps pointing back to town. I, I feel like this trail's a dead end. I think maybe we need to go back to town. Uh, maybe uh, literally. Mike, I just sent you a, a, a message on Facebook. <coughs> Um, what's an intelligence occult role going to get me, Josh? All right. Uh, what are you looking for? Try to figure out what do I know about race? <laughs> <laughs> what do I in Garu? You know, I can tell you right now as a, as a rank three third, uh, I'll show you this picture that I've showed these guys. This sums up your your entire knowledge. Uh, oh. Focus. Yeah, everyone, I'll work on keeping the uh, townsfolk from uh, going on a little murderous rampage. Well, I've got a thought. Remember how I was mentioning that the other uh, women were all of European descent? Um, it's, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to send us to the, maybe away from the, 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 the mirror, but, uh, you know, what Phil was saying is, you know, maybe the, maybe it was the, which, which tribe is it, Barney, the Sioux? Yeah, they're a Wendigo tribe. There's like, from the Garo perspective, there's a lot of Wendigo. Maybe, uh, I mean, my my search ended when we couldn't find a silent strider, but uh, maybe they know something about this. I mean, if it's uh, some sort of a, they they would have cause for all these uh, for the the you know being all of European descent. And maybe it's something. 
But remember what Nana Bosher said. Um, she's crazy, though. <laughs> she just is. quick to point out that whatever it was, it was something that we, the wormcomers, brought and had nothing to do with the pure ones. Her logic was that the man arrived with a stagecoach, and that's a form of travel in a year and and is a European form of travel. Totally nuts. Bat shit crazy, Nana. <laughs> I didn't like I've never liked Nana. <laughs> <laughs> She can go to hell. She can go to hell and die. No, no, but while we're doing the investigation, one of us should try to convince the yeah, town folks not to start killing the natives. So, Well, maybe the Wendigo will deal with that. You mean the Wendigo killing the town folk? Is that maybe what you mean by deal with it? Because that's what, how they're going to deal with it. Maybe that'll happen. Uh, how about I stop people from getting murdered? <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> uh, I'll, I'll sure. give I'll I'll give that a shot. Mike, I'm not sure you know how to play werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> Very valid point. <laughs> All right, yeah, Aaron. So basically, you know that um, that thir thirges that there are some very specific gifts that can be used. Um, to commune with them, but they're mostly through, and there is a way to step into the dark umbra. Uh, you'll have to learn it. Right. The only way Gira may truly enter the Shadowlands is through the use of traditional rites. Each tribe has a different method and legend concerning passage into the rites' native realm. Uh, your pass for um, for Geta Fenris is called taking the Death's Mantle. Um, for Shadow Lords, it's called Penance in Gaia's Name. Stargazer is called Cheating the Cycle. Iron Rider is called the Gift of. It's called the um, the Rite of the Rust Soul. So and these are these are rites. Right, a rite master steps in the dark umbra, just as if you were stepping in the middle umbra. The player rolls wits rituals, difficulty of the shroud plus four, and may not use any more dice than the character has an intelligence occult. The right master may pull others into the dark umbra with her, but she must be touching them when she performs the right. Otherwise, the chain is broken and the others cannot follow. All right. Well, let's meet back in three months after I learn that right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, somebody with high occult should use that. Like, I've got rituals, but no occult. Ooh. Gara Rage, Gara Rage is, is Oblivion's playground. Where else in the Dark Umber require shadows whose angst score equals the Gara's Rage? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so there is a right to go through into the Shadowlands. Um, Aaron, what's your rituals? You would it'd be easy because it, it would be fairly easy for you to learn it because of your. Rituals. I have four in rituals and I have five dots and rites and backgrounds. Yeah. So that's gonna be Ted's homework. Yeah. All right. So basically, the you guys head back into town, and Mike, go ahead and talk. So, uh, uh, Mike, go ahead and. Um, role play out. You don't have to role play out the actual conversation, but tell tell us what you do with the mayor. And, well, and you, okay, go ahead. Yeah, right now, we think someone's framing the local natives for all the disappearances. We have a very good lead, and we are about to take care of this issue. But we don't want everyone to start going crazy ruining our investigation, killing random people, having absolute Joe go down and start robbing banks again with a shotgun. So if you could give us three days, we'll be able to have this solved. We don't need to start attacking the Indians and get a lot of people on both sides killed over this. All right. Uh, I can give you three days. I can give you three days, Phil. But after that, people people are missing their wives. People are missing their daughters. I understand. But, and I appreciate you giving us this much, but 
we we have an, we think we know what's going on and we just need a little more time to solve it. Okay. All right, I can give I can buy you three days. After that, the folks over at Fort Jefferson, they're want it, they're waiting to find excuses. Right. Just so you guys know, um, Pennsylvania Phil, in these three years, him and uh, Felix Wainwright, Adam Hart's character, kind of handpicked the mayor. So That's convenient. Thank you for that. If we don't find him in three days, I'm giving him uh, – we'll give him Adam's character. He did it. <laughs> <laughs> He's not a real Garu anyway, so. Right. All right, guys. We'll uh, we'll we'll end the episode at that point. So, good, cool, cool. All right, uh, everybody, give yourself three experience. And Aaron, can you go ahead for me and roll your? All right, now I get to see if Aaron gets uh, what he gets for. Um, Uh, roll your rage. Just roll. Uh, how, what do you have in rage? No, you said roll your rage. You already called that. Four, oh, you only got a four rage. This might not be too bad for you. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> roll four dice. Anything four or below will count towards a battle scar. If you get anything, if you get everything above four, you don't get a battle scar. You roll it two times because you're a third. Dice pool of five? You know, a dice pool of a four. You got four in rage, not five. I did. I rolled four die, dude. No, no, it says dice pool of five. Oh. Oh, okay. It just says dice pool of five. So anything uh, below a four, so one battle scar. You get one. So now roll a 10 sided die and add one dot to it. I don't know how to roll a 10 sided die. Um, on the, the far left, you see a dice, uh, a dice roller app. On the far left. If you're looking okay. at the map, yeah, you're looking right. at the map, yeah. Ten, seven, seven eight. eight. Head scars. Everyone's getting hey. head scars. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, get the roll one more time. Everybody, everybody's got a motherfucking head scar. <laughs> 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 you're a that push. might finally be the name of our pack. I don't think we ever had a pack name. Yeah. <laughs> head, <scar>. head scars. <laughs> It's both the slow. greatest death metal band in Wilson. <laughs> I can't see what that one is. Uh, one, two, and nine. And so two more. Two more, right? Roll a ten sided die. And you add plus two to it. Eight. Seven, eight. Another head scare. <laughs> no, that's good. Another head scare. <laughs> All right. Um, roll again. <laughs> you can't do a head scare twice. <laughs> you're just sure you're, you're headless. <laughs> 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 Three, four, five. Ah, deep scar. There you go. Deep scar. What deep a, scar and a head scar. Yeah. What a what a baby gash bio. Where is uh? What I had these. Be a true get. I'll let you add. I've run another ten sided die and add that up to it and see if you. Yeah, can I do it. want one. Come on, man. <laughs> Good. All right. Come on, lose an eye. All the cool kids are doing it. <laughs> what is it? I can't see it. A 10. You rolled a 10. 10 plus what? Uh, what? Your one? You want that one? Instead of, a, instead of a deep scar? I need bad scars. All right. This one's the uh, ahem one. <laughs> oh, come on, oh. man. You don't need to do that one, though. <laughs> well, I'll tell you yeah. what. You can, if you want to, you can go up one and get the collapsed lung. So it's up to you. Yeah, I don't yeah. run that much. You don't run that much? You go over the cross flow? Yeah. I thought I had these written down somewhere. I can't find where. It... Yeah, just put it in your bio. That's what everybody else did. So, I yeah, collapsed you know. lung. You got that in your fight. You and uh, um, uh, you and Dale's character, when you guys saved uh, Blackstone. Yeah. Uh, and just for everybody's sake, if anybody's looking, this is – the thing that Aaron and Dale's character went into.
sexy. Yeah, it's it's called a hell hole. It's where they spawn from the deep umbra that pop up from uh, from the worm. Well, that's crazy. Yeah. So. Will you be slowly digested for a thousand years? <laughs> Um, any honor or uh, wisdom? I don't. Or... You guys really didn't. Um, give yourself. Uh, actually, give. Um... Wisdom for not laughing at Bob when he was in the river. <laughs> <laughs> not laughing at the arrow who bunched him for seven. <laughs> there is wisdom in that. <laughs> That's my thoughts. Uh. Uh, give yourselves um, there's a in a way you guys kind of protected you guys kind of protected everybody from sure we a, did a gun fight um, we stopped some you know innocent Indians from getting slaughtered at least for now yeah everybody give yourself um, one wisdom for maintaining good relationships with uh, nearby humans for that I think they're behind it, though. I do, too. Yeah. All right. Cool. So Joining in a posse. And if you guys join in with a posse and punish the guilty, you get two honor. Um, supporting an innocent accused of a crime. No, you can do that. That's fine. What was my other scar? Head, lo a head wound, back collapsed lung, and what? Uh, you got something else? Yeah, I rolled for three. No, you only rolled. You, know, you only get two. Yeah, you, you lost your lost your junk too. He you get six glory. He's got. He gets four glory. You only. You no. Oh. I thought you rolled extra because you wanted a uh, a deeper one. No, you said I could. If I wanted to be a get, I could roll for another battle scar. Oh, I meant to add another ten sided dice to your initial one. Oh, I wanted another battle scar. <laughs> <laughs> if you want three battle scars, you're more than well. You can take Mike's if you want. Mike probably doesn't want his. I the. The superficial scars I got aren't bad. No, I had, I got one last uh, season. You did get. Oh, ah, uh, Mike Foley shot you. Yeah, what was that? It was a. Oh, it was a. Uh, it was a shoulder. It was a misset shoulder. So every time I yeah, go, yeah, improper bone setting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah, so we had Mike Foley, who was just one of our friends from Vermont, made a character. He was a silver, uh, silver fang philodox or something like that, and. Played one game and botched a firearms roll and shot Aaron in the back. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest. More than anything, I was worried about getting gelded as a battle scar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you would think that would be like a higher number. Right. Like up closer to 30. Yeah, well, though the ones that are there, though, are pretty bad that are higher up. So yeah, so is gilded. Yeah, yeah. Keep in mind, yeah, it's um. Brain damage sucked. Brain damage is the... my bonar. I think had brain damage years ago. Yeah, my first character lost his arm like in the first couple months of play. That's kind of awesome though. <laughs> Was that a Doug Doug's a game? Doug's game? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how does how does renown work? It's like if you, if you match the dot. No. Uh, if you it's uh, if you get ten temporary points, it adds up to a permanent point. Okay, I see. All yeah. Right. Yeah. All you want is honor and glory, basically, as an arrow. Okay. You do not have to be wise at all. <laughs> a rank five arun has three wisdom. <laughs> Yeah, I remember what Thompson saying he's already got enough wisdom for a rank five. <laughs> yeah, and for a third, you have to have ten wisdom to be <laughs> rank five. Yeah, yeah, and then ragged bashes are the best. You can just take a combination; it doesn't matter what. Mm -hmm. Yeah, anything, no matter. 
Come. Which is how I'm able to do okay while being a total pussy in anything involving fighting. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. That was a good game. That was a that get back into the swing of things. As you see, uh, things are a bit different from last year. Not nah, because you're surrounded by humans this time. So, yeah. Uh, and so that so each episode is gonna be I uh, each episode is gonna be based off of someone's background. So depending on what the who shows up might depend on what the storyline is gonna be. So, but other than that, I think we. Uh, I fear we have to do something with this next session, though, right? We we might have to. Uh, it depends. It depends on who shows up next. Uh, it's very much like last season where you had the uh, the. This is basically this is the beginning of the meta plot of the season. So. So there could be subplots next week or something. Yeah. 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 So and keep in mind, it's not. It doesn't have to actually be. Uh, um, uh, uh, chronological. So, yeah. All right. Matter. Cool. All right, guys. All right. Thank, Thank you very much. And if you guys want, if you get bored, you can watch this online. So. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Masturbation material. <laughs> well, now it is. <laughs> <laughs> all right. See you guys. See ya. See you, man. Take care.